but the Big Bang Theory was created by a Catholic man to prove the existence of God. So how do you explain that? It, it wasn't. It was. No. It was all the proven. Georges Lemaitre. Georges Lemaitre was uh, a Catholic priest, yes. He was also an astronomer. He was a professional PhD credentialed astronomer and he worked out the theory of the Big Bang secularly. He consulted the science textbooks. He used a calculator. Uh, literally everything about his idea was completely devoid of any religious um, uh, context or, or anything. But and he, <clears throat> the Catholic Church, said to him, uh, we would like to... I can't remember what it was. It's not like they wanted to um, canonize the Big Bang, like like make it a, an official Catholic doctrine, you know, like uh, Mary ascending to heaven is and, and some other things. They wanted to do something yeah. like that. And George Lemaitre said, that's a horrible idea because as a scientist, he understood pragmatically and philosophically that the Big Bang is disprovable. Uh and a Catholic, a Christian doesn't, I mean, this isn't exactly fair, but uh, a, a Christian doesn't just go around saying, oh, yeah, uh, God might not exist. It, s some do think that, uh, that, that, but that's not really, like, the Catholic Church doesn't hold any official positions uh, that they claim, well, this is potentially falsifiable. They call their positions dogmas. So, no, like the idea that Georges Lemaitre, in an attempt to prove God, started looking for the Big Bang and then found it, that is just not true. Yeah, but I was uh, also going to say that, like, they both kind of represent the same thing, because at the end of the day, it is a theory. It is still a calculation of assumption of saying, oh, well, this is the biggest, like, closest thing we can get to saying how the universe started. But the universe can't really have a beginning with just out of nowhere. Like you can't just say things just it just kind of happened. Matter just the Big Bang doesn't itself. say kinda, like, that that's what happened. These, it kind of like just starts. Like it just starts. It just says all this matter and energy clumped up all together, and all these cells just exploded into everything starting and creating. I believe like no. that evolution could have an expanding theory behind it. But I'm also saying that in the beginning they said that let there be light, and also the same way how the Big Bang kind of just all came together, and how everything that is so complex in the universe that there just has to be an intelligent mind behind it. The Big Bang doesn't. The Big Bang doesn't imply that the universe has a beginning any more than it implies that the universe has a starting location. It doesn't say about location. It just says, "Oh, like matter just came into existence out of nowhere." It just says that. No, it doesn't well, say that at all. The, the Big yeah, Bang is not Big a. Bang? The, the Big Bang is not a model that says, at this point, nothing existed, and then immediately after that point. Then all of a sudden, the entire universe started existing, and then it began expanding. That's not the Big Bang at all. So what is the Big Bang? It's the observation that the universe does expand, and it would have expanded from an initial point of extreme density. Now, what happened, what was going on before the universe began expanding? Well, we don't know if there's anything such as before the Big Bang in any in any sense that we conventionally understand anything we could have an eternal universe it could be cyclical there could be uh um one universe undergoing cyclical big bangs which means there's no beginning point in time either there are lots of crazy ideas that are out there but it's never been the proposed or it's never been um modeled to be a description of nothing and then universe starts existing so it's kind of like everything just always existed. You're saying like everything was eternal. Uh, yeah, you could say that the universe has never not existed. That would be uh, a way you could say eternal. Yeah, but the same thing with God. That God was just always a thing. So they're saying that, every, that there was no beginning to it. It just always was. Same with God. Every single subject that when you talk about God, it's always he was always there. Just how you know, universe people say universe and God. Because when people talk about, they want to ex like just get rid of the idea of God. We can explain an eternal universe. universe we can explain an eternal universe uh, scientifically. An eternal God 
is a completely nonsense concept that is just invoked as some sort of philosophical necessity. So it's kind of like, there's just always has been, there's no creation behind all the complex life and all the reasons, the way that our body is just like, it can't just all just come up by mistake and coincidence. There has to be some type of creation and it's either the universe created itself or there's another, there's a being. The universe it. doesn't there's have to be created it. at all. The universe can undergo uh, transformations. There can be things that happen in the universe. You and I both agree that uh, bridges rust over time. Is that a is that a divine miracle? No, it's just something that happens. Matter and energy exchange and do interesting things in the universe. There is an explanation for basically every single thing you and I see out there that where there is a an adequate secular scientific explanation for it. And there are deep mysteries. Why does the universe exist? What conditions led to the universe uh, as we see it, having the properties that it does? We don't know, but to invoke God as the answer is, it's just not like, why? Because we don't know what happened, therefore God, there's no, that's not evidence, that's not even an argument. It's just, it's nothing. It was for me. It's more the uh, belief that everything can, everything can be created, everything can be made, everything can be manifested in some type of way. But the thing is, like behind computer, we are more human beings. The entire like, like what's call it? Um, the biology and just everything that behind that goes into having a human being working, like a complete human being, healthy human being. It's more complex than any database of a computer that you will ever see. And I'm just thinking, if we can c create computers, so it's a pile of you garbage. Imagine, like, it's just like, if we are more, if we are the most complex thing in the universe, and everything is into such detail that if one number was off, the entire universe would shrink and crumble. Then isn't there meaning that like, how did this just all happen out of coincidence? We're just we're just mistakes somehow. Because there are an just infinite number of universes there. That's why. So you believe in a multiverse? Sure. Why not? The math the the math and physics say that there's absolutely no problem with that. Yeah, but at the same time, there's no way, like, at the same time, you can talk about God and you can talk about the universe, but and they won't interfere. What does that because mean? Because at the same time, the whole, does the that whole mean Bible that they the won't interfere? Because you can't, you can't contradict yourself while talking about God and talk about science. They help each other. All the greatest scientists, I don't there, think that they Einstein help said, each the more, other at all. Einstein himself said and quoted, Einstein said, the more I study about, the more I study, the more I realize that nothing can exist without God. Einstein was an atheist. And Einstein still believed in that. No, as an atheist, he didn't believe in God. Um, Einstein wrote a letter to Joseph Despentiere. I don't know. Um, on the 24th of March, 1954. That was like a year before he died. It was, of course, a lie what you read about my religious convictions. A lie which is being systematically repeated. I do not believe in a personal God, and I have never denied this, but have expressed it clearly. If something is in me which can be called religious, then it is the unbounded admiration for the structure of the world so far as our science can reveal it. So he didn't he what didn't believe it? in God. Did he ever like say that he But he did like acknowledge the existence of a higher being, higher mind behind such complex design? No. What was that you said earlier? Well, I looked up I looked up the quote that, that you brought up like and the responses to that were people saying that quote is apocryphal. Like it's attributed to him, but he never said it. Like uh what's her tits saying, let them eat so cake. There's no backup evidence that it was his. Correct. It's hearsay. Uh, so it was just like uh like oh, they're saying they're saying that they came from him, but like there's no actual backup evidence that he did claim. Yeah, it's hearsay. Mm -hmm. But it was like he never claimed the personal belief. He just always backed up in science. It, yeah. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess that kind of like clears it up, clears the air. But I still believe that with such complexity and such, like I've I've looked into it and I'm like I've seen all the things and I'm like I've heard all how life works and I'm like it doesn't really contradict the, how the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches doesn't really go into like. Like, obviously, biology, chemistry doesn't go into those topics, but it doesn't contradict anything that happens with actual life. 
what it does wait back up science wait are you, are you saying science doesn't contradict the bible or are you saying the existence of god doesn't contradict science Well, as the Bible doesn't really actually talk about like science as its like main topic, like it's not going to go on about those things. It talks more about the message and the gospel and the good news. But when it does talk about it, when it does bring up the subject subject of it, like it can work. It Can't hear you. <sighs> this connection is horrible. Right. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I was just saying, like, the, like when the Bible does speak on anything that has to do with biology, life, and how things came together, that it can work. It works with science the same way they can be put. Well, that, well, that's not true because it says God created uh, all the creepy crawly critters a few days into the creation of the Earth, and that's just not that's not compatible with anything that we know about biology. And it says he made Adam out of the dirt, and then took a piece of his rib and made Eve. Uh, like, the account of the account of where humans Eve. come from does not work with that. And it says he created plants before the sun, which is strange. Um. Uh, dude, I can't hear you at all because it, 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 it kind of sounds like that. 